Hello, hello to everyone on the British Alliance. How are you all doing today? It is the British Runner here, and in today's video, we are going to be jumping into a reaction of the Dead Space reveal trailer that was at EA Play 2021. So, let's get right into it. Because I did say I did not believe it was coming, but, but, it is now finally here. Fuck me. I, I just can't believe that they've actually release this shit I, I i would have thought it would have taken a nuclear warhead to the face to actually get ea to recreate a dead space game or to even do a reboot but nevertheless let's get into this and see what the fuck we're gonna see today So dreamy. Uh. Oh, wow. <laughs> No, it's Isaac. It's Isaac. I really want more of that. I really want more of that type of stuff. I really do want more of that. But unfortunately, that's it until we get an official trailer. Let's just um, go forward a little bit so I can just uh, show off something. So we got doors. My god, it looks so freaking beautiful. It looks so good. Especially with that old fashioned, you know, light sort of thing that they're doing there. With like the orange. The orange light, app, the orange light environment, should I say. It looks so... Oh my fucking god. This is just... This is just too good to be true, to be honest with you. This is really too good to be true, and I'm, I'm adoring this. It's unreal, but if the game looks like this, oh my god, that is going to be a hell of a step up, because... If you were going to if you're going to remake a game like Dead Space, that was already ahead of its time within the graphical department because it how its graphics hold up till this day. If you're gonna make it look like this If you're gonna make it look like this, then I mean, look at that shit. Just look at that. I just want to get a close up and see what is that? Is that. I'd say metal grate with blood dripping through it. Uh, it's unreal. I wonder if this is actually going to be a reboot or if it's going to be a remake of the first game or maybe even possibly Dead Space 4. I don't know. It does. I don't really recognize the environment itself. Can we see what's in there? It says something room. I can't quite... Control room. Tram control room. Tram control room. That's what it says. Two tram control room. Oh my god. I think I know where this is actually at right now. I think I know what this room is. Oh, it's on the Ishimura. It's definitely on the Ishimura. That's the fuse. That is the fuse you destroy with the plasma cutter. That is the fuse you destroy. With the plasma car, you'll see it sparking in me now. I'll just go back. Let me just go back. Did 
This is the room you get the plasmica. They've just redone it. See that there, right next to the door? That's the fuse, that black box. That is the fuse. Oh my god. Let me see if I could just draw something on here. Right there, that is the fuse. That's the fuse. That is the fuse, fuse box right there. Right there, that's the fuse box. That is the fuse box from the first game when you get the plasmica and then you open the door because that goes to tram control in the original game. So this here, you know, this right here, they've just re they've re um, done the room. They've re remade the room. That's what they've done. This is where the trailer is taking place. Oh my god. Let's just continue, shall we? See? Fuse. Fuse. Fuse back. Come on. I'm just wanting to see if we can see a... Uh... I think they're going with the Dead Space 2 Necromorphs, to be honest with you. Because that... If I'm looking at it correctly, it looks a little bit like, it looks a little bit like, um, like the doctors from the hospital in Dead Space 2. It looks like that. Which is still cool. And where would this room be? It would be nearby, wouldn't it? Ah! Yes! It is in that room. It is in that room still. It still takes place in that room where you get the plasma cutter. Because you can see the plasma cutter right there. Let me just uh, get a circle on that general widget. Right there, there's your plasma cutter right there. It's still in the same room. It's in the same room. Oh, that is awesome. So, this is where the tra the teaser is taking place, is after... This is where the teaser is taking place. Within that room where you get the plasma cutter for the very first time, you destroy the fuse, and then you open the door to find that a necromorph has just killed the person that you were trying to save. And now it wants to kill you too. <laughs> and that's what you gotta do. Oh my god, this is this is so dreamy, this is unreal. Let's continue. Well, 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 go back. Go back. <laughs> the old cut off their limbs sign. Or unless you're in any other game they go like Isaac, you gotta you gotta cut off the limbs to stop them. I know, I've had a lot of practice, <laughs> but to fucking cut off their limbs! Oh my god, yes, mate! It looks so cool. It looks so cool. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy! I can't wait to speed run this shit. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go back. I want to try and see if I can recognize the planet. Is this Aegis 7 or is it a completely different planet? It looks slightly different, but it's only because I can see, I can only really see the horizon and that's really it. I can't see anything else. So, yeah. So, what's this in the center? What's that? Is that Isaac's um, health or something like that? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I can't see. Oh, 
Oh my god, yes. Yes, mate. I think they're using, for font, I don't think they're using traditional dead space font, where it's all unitology and all that stuff. You know, the, the unitology. Can you just do it so I can try and see which one they're using? It's called dead space, I think. It is actually called dead space. Um, let me just uh, have a look again. Nah, it's not, it's not the same one. It just looks like the same one, that's all. It might be the same font that they're using. It might be the same font. But yeah, literally, that's that's it. You know? That is it for Dead Space. That, that really is it. Fuck me. I got no words, to be honest with you. I got absolutely no words about this at all. I don't know what the fuck to think, to be honest with you. These are just my first thoughts, to be honest with you. These are really my first thoughts. But I know where it takes place. It takes place in that little room where you find the plasma curve for the first time. So we know it's going to be taking place within the Ishimura. Which is fucking awesome. So this is either going to be a reimagining or a remake. But it already looks like a, um, a full-fledged remake. Or reimagining. Because the room... The room's layout is completely, um, completely different, you know. The room's layout is different. The, uh, there are doors in that room that weren't actually there originally, so it all looks so fucking good. Um, ooh, so I, I've been at work today, like, I'm yawning. So, um, yeah, like, the room itself, even looking at the hallway here, like, that looks bigger than what it was. It wasn't that big. It was actually a little bit more inward sort of thing. You know what I mean? The length was not there. So, but even if you can change a little small things like that, it's still, like, it feels like a brand new experience, which is what Dead Space needs right now, I believe. So it needs a brand new experience. Something that mirrors the uh, original, but, you know, in a different light sort of thing. I like the light Isaac's in right now. If this is actual gameplay, though, if this is actual, you know, what is what it's going to look like on release, then take my money. Just take my fucking money. But if it's going to be like a Halo Combat Evolved thing where it's going to be like they show it to us and it looks really cool and then all of a sudden, no, it's not cool. It's all, it's absolute garbage. Then I, I don't want it. You know what I mean? I'm not having another Warcraft re refunded issue, you know, where like, you know, it looks so beautiful. So, oh my God. I mean, look at that. That looks genuinely fucking terrifying the flickering light and there's something moving within it it's like oh damn i was kind of thinking that we we're gonna get a jump scare to be fair but dead space dead space had a few good jump scares but it really it was really more or less a horror story it was never really to be one of those rah gotcha you know like it was never really to be one of those haha got you type things it was really a game that wanted to kind of disturb the player and it, it succeeded with quite a lot of us and i say us because it disturbed me the first time i played it realizing that everything that i was seeing was actually a complete fi fabrication of what was actually going on whereas you know the market was manipulating me <sighs> using my um Using Isaac's girlfriend as uh, apparition or whatever, you know that that type of stuff is really creepy and it's really good. So yeah, that was the Dead Space uh, reveal trailer. So glad this this didn't didn't turn out to be a hoax. I'm so glad it turned out to be something real, for once. Because of so many times you get, like, fake news about Dead Space. I mean, I've seen on tons of times the Dead Space 4 teaser trailer, and it turns out to be just a mismatch of Dead Space 1 and the Dead Space 3. 
and then they uh, have in the description, oh, it's a, it's a fan made trailer. It's like, why? You know, combining game trailers together is just crap. You're shit if you do that. Simple as that can be. So yeah, let's uh, let's go back for a sec. I just want to have a look. No, further back, further back. Okay, let's have a look at this room because this is the room where um, this is literally, this literally is the room where you get the plasma cut, your first weapon of the game. So I just kind of want to have a little look and see. So you've got the door right in front of you. I'm gonna get a whiteboard here. Just give me one second. Whiteboard. So you've got the door right there. Yep. You've got the fuse box right there that you break with the plasma car. I'm not really sure what this is though. Like is that a door or is that a you know just I don't know, like a background or something, something for the background. <coughs> um, this here though, this is intriguing. What's this? What is that? Me? What is that? Sound like a dead necromorph? Looks like a necromorph arm. Could be, could be a mechanical arm though. Yeah. But this here, this right here, is where the camera pans over. So you're getting closer and closer to the door. As if the camera's being dragged by a necromorph. By a slasher. Anything else we can point out from here? Nope. Uh, no, nothing, nothing. It's all good. Let's uh, continue, shall we? I think that might be a bench, to be fair. Let's just go back a sec. Because in Dead Space 2, there was a bench. There was actually a bench in Dead Space 2. So that might be the version of um, that room that they're using for inspiration. And that's, uh, what do you call it? I think this is as close as we're going to get to it. So, um, yeah, that doesn't look to be a door. That looks to be a whiteboard again. I need a whiteboard. Give me my whiteboard. Give it to me. So this here does not look to be a door. It looks to be like a cabinet or something like, you know, that you would put engineering tools into or stuff like that. This right here, that looks to be a bench. That looks to be a bench. You know, if they're using the Dead Space 2, what do you call it, Ishimura, as a inspiration for, then we can tell that's definitely a bench. And it's nothing to worry about. Although, if the benches look like that, I'm going to be a bit sad, because the other ones kind of looked a couple more, a bit more futuristic, like it actually folded out. Or, you know, it actually, uh, you know, folded outwards. So it actually looked like a futuristic bench that it would just fold in to itself. As to, like, you would imagine it would, like, you know, save a bit more room in the room that you're putting it in. But it would fold out into an actual full-functioning um, workbench. But, yeah. That looks so cool, though. And it's pretty smart that they've actually used this room for the teaser. Like, as if we're just scratching the surface of um, what what's going on on the Ishimura. You know what I mean? Simple as that can be. <sighs> so the camera pans over where I said. Right there. I'm not seeing anything noticeable right here. Necromorph looks like it's just waking up. You know. Or it's just become a necromorph. Unreal. I feel like maybe the reason that EA is actually bringing this out 
is um, probably because of the um, the Calisio project, a protocol, the Calisio protocol. And I'll explain why in a video of my own um, at some point. I'll make a video on this, like with Dead Space, wish lists, all that stuff, you know, like what I want to see from a Dead Space game now. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, before any of the other yahoos get involved. But yeah, like, this, this is really fucking cool. I mean, I might not sound like it, but it is really cool. If I just move uh, my foot, no. Sorry about this, it's kind of embarrassing. Move the face cam out of the way. I'm going to move this over here as well. Okay. I just wanted to see, um, I just want to see what's on this side. But yeah, I just want to see what's on this side, and it's just the cut up there. It looks like there could be a dead body somewhere. Where does continue going? Oh yes, there is a dead body there. I mean, I should not be very happy about that, but thank God they left a body in there. Because that's just like, you know, how the room supposedly should look, you know, after we've left it. Unless the body just became a necromorph and got up. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, whiteboard. Yeah, so this body right here. Right here where it's supposed to be. Like it was in the Dead Space original trailer for the game. Uh, but yeah, like... It look it looks beautiful, to be honest with you. It absolutely looks beautiful. And I hope to Christ, you know you're not gonna you're not gonna change anything, EA. I hope you're not gonna change anything because this looks freaking beautiful. It looks beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Plasma car. I thought the guy was building a plasma car and that was a blueprint. <laughs> Oh my god. I just, I can't believe that. That looks so freaking cool. Especially with the last shot they did with uh, the teaser. The last shot. The last shot. Especially with the last shot they did with the trailer. Like this kind of like heroes sort of thing. Like, yeah, they cut off their limbs and then boom, you get that, you know. It looks kind of like a movie, don't it? It looks kind of like a film. You know what I mean? So where you have, like, your teaser, like, boom, boom, all the explosions, and boom, 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 and then, like, Isaac says something like, you know, like, the only way out is death, you know, and then boom. And then you get this, like, you know, you get this, which is so cool. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go back. Go back. I said go back. I think I know what that blinking is. Is it? Oh my god, it looks like the Ishimura. I want the blinking to stop. No, uh, stop it. There you go. Look at that. Looks like the Ishimura. I need a whiteboard. Give me my whiteboard back. Give it to me. Like right there. That looks like the Ishimura. That looks like the Ishimura. You can even see like, you know, where engineering would be and um what do you call it? That's where the engineering would be, the um what do you call it? Hydroponics. You know, that's where it would be. Then, uh, you know, you got that long um, part of the body that has, like, the, uh, what do you call it, uh, shield things, whatever they're called, the fins. I like to call them the fins because they kind of remind me of shark fins. But, yeah, that 
you have the Ishimura there. I thought that was Isaac's health, to be fair. I literally thought that was Isaac's health. But that's the Ishimura right there. Nice. As a, you know, I will make a video on the trailer. You know, all the stuff that I can find within it. As like, kind of like a bit of a uh, Dead Space remake lore, if you will. And I will also will make a commentary on what I want to see from Dead Space. All wrapped into one video, basically. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching my first reaction of the Dead Space remake trailer or teaser, should I say. Reveal teaser. Because it wasn't, it was too much to ask just to fucking give us a trailer. But no, 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 it's, the teaser's fine. The teaser's fine. <laughs> But, yeah, anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed watching me be like, oh, my God, you know. <laughs> and I will indeed get to work on that video, along with a video on um, the unitologists and all that stuff, you know, everything you need to know about them. And also on top of that, I will not be doing the Dead Space. Um, I will not be doing the Dead Space any percent world record progression. Because I have caught wind that two other individuals will be doing that. People that I knows Dead Space 2 a lot more than I do. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all on the next one. If you're new here, then... <coughs> <coughs> thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button. Comment me something down below. And I look forward to hearing from you later. And... Subscribe if you're new here to join the British Alliance today and ring that notification bell to get future updates on new videos and other stuff happening. And I'll see you all on the front lines and have a good one. God damn, I haven't done a live one in ages.